Hello and welcome to the Gen 4 series. We are at Kentucky here today. I believe it's Legacy Kentucky. Um, pardon if I'm wrong. It'll be in the title, so you'll know. Um, of all the tracks that NASCAR goes to or went to, um, this is probably the one I'm least familiar with. So I'm kind of curious to see how this will go. I'm not entirely sure, um, but uh, I'm going to give it my best. And heading out for qualifying here. I think my wife wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. She was just passing by, I guess. So, wanted to say hello. Um, we are the number one car here today. Uh, unfortunately, because, like I said, I'm not sure how competitive I'm going to be here. Um, but, I think. Uh, if I can just hit my marks here in qualifying, I should be able to get a good, decent lap in. Super slick, as you might expect. Green, green, green. Okay, you can get from a Gen 4 lap. race. I'm noticing the track is much grippier than it was in the practice I was in. I say that while getting majorly loose. But that just goes to show you how slippery this track is with this car. Pretty fun. I'm having fun. <sighs> Not my best effort there for lap one, but we'll see if we can get anything more lap two. Steady. Okay, that was pretty good. One and two was pretty decent right there. But we'll get a decent runoff, and we're going to take the apron here as much as we can. And we are in the sixes. The flag. From P2 on. to P1. But that number three had the fastest lap in the uh, open practice beforehand here, so I could definitely see him taking a second lap and doing just that. <laughs> taking the pole. But, uh, yeah, feeling okay. I'm feeling okay with that. My best uh, was a 5.82, and I got into the sixes, so not too far off. I don't know how uh, tire saving's gonna go. Could be tricky to do it just right. Gonna be using a little bit of brake on the entries. Not too much banking here at Kentucky. Bit of a flatter intermediate, so. Do you wanna get it slowed down, I think, pretty good? Now, I'm pretty sure this is Legacy Kentucky, because doesn't the more modern Kentucky have, like, the crazy, the crazier turn three and four where you have to hit the brakes even more than this one? I think that might be the case. But, like I said, I'm actually not very familiar with this track. I've raced it a couple times at Arca and stuff, but just uh, not too familiar, so. I'm not even completely knowledgeable on, you know, all the differences between the legacy version of it and the modern version. I think, uh, I think that's the case. We'll do a practice pit in here. Should be pretty simple. Look out for the there we go. Moment. So, a little unsettled. But we took care of it. 40 seconds to go in qualifying. We got a couple guys yet to go and the 11 is not here so we're just gonna have to wait the remaining 31 seconds uh, 97 97 on the tires after that short run obviously uh, I'm not gonna go as hard that's interesting to note I'm gonna put my brake bias all the way back including in the uh, in car I actually meant to do that for qualifying as well because I think having as much rotation on entry as possible is gonna be quite helpful But, uh, all right, looks like we're going to hold on to P2 as we get ready to grid up. My least favorite starting position. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hooray. Outside front row, get to peek to the left a whole bunch. So not a, not a crazy high strength of field here today. 2.6K, which is, you know, not the worst, but also not the best. Um, we... 
are doing a Monday afternoon race before the start of the new week. I'm a little late to the party here, but that's okay. I've been distracted by a bunch of other fun games that have come out recently. I've been playing a game called Palea, and then Baldur's Gate came out, and uh, Elder Scrolls Online came out for free on the uh, Epic Game Stores a while back, and so I was playing that because free game, why not? And uh, that was pretty fun. So that's fun to distract me from racing that and uh, less motivation to do the official races because the league races have just been so very nice. <laughs> Hard to just uh, drag myself away from that and enter official racing. But, you know, I've, I've had some good official races in the recent past, so I think uh, we could have another good one here today, too. Hopefully. We'll see. We got 80 laps, and uh, just under 46 laps estimated on fuel. I think that means I'll probably just go ahead and take it until I have about two laps of fuel remaining. So that way, I, uh, if I have to abandon my entry, I have another shot at it without running out of fuel. Seems as... Uh, Follow the pace car in the outside column. Oh, my graphics are working. I can see your graphics on my car. You're on the outside this time. Speed yeah, road is closed. That's right. Trading well, paints had a security breach. People were saying they had a breach. Yep. But now I just opened up with downloading uh, everyone's paints. Oh, there's my paint. Thank you, guys. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Look, everybody. Looks like a second gear start, probably. Not too surprising with uh, the power this car has. Yeah, so if you use trading paints, change your password. Oh, they had a, 20 people. a leak. Well, I got clicked in. I guess it's two splits, huh? I was kind of hoping I'd one. Ready, going I'm getting ready to go here. I'm gonna get my, the best view I can of guy on my inside. Okay, Colton, here we go. Green, Went a little easy on the throttle because I was just afraid I was gonna spin him up, but. Okay. Clear inside. We'll hold on to P2. Thanks to the run off the high side we had. Oh, guy behind getting very loose. Nearly sent it to the infield, it looked like. I'm going to try to protect both the right front and the right rear. I could definitely see this thing getting dangerously loose if I uh, start throttling it up way too much, sliding the car around and all that, so I try not to do that. So three's got himself a bit of a gap. It's all right, long way to go. We're taking it easy, probably about 80% right now. Just trying to keep it smooth. The eight car behind us. Looks like he might be going a little bit harder. We'll see if he uh, catches up at all. I think I forgot to put my end car brake bias back. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that real quick when I have another moment. Probably not a huge difference, but I would like to do that anyway. Back, I say back. 
You have a good four. Reckon and four. I have a good. It's just a caution worthy wreck. My wife. Simple attacking. Apparently not. Catching up to the leader. Don't know if I'm overdriving or what. Notice it's kind of going higher in the uh, in the uh, front stretch part. Not there, so I'm gonna not dive it in on him. He gives us the lane though, so we will go ahead. Clear. All right, get around him, and we will lead a lap. All right, still very early. However, I can't imagine he's falling off already, right? Like it's so early for that to be the case. I'm thinking maybe he's just conserving or something. Like that's strange to me if he would be falling off already. You might know something I don't, because everybody else has, you know, potentially been racing this all week, and this is the first time I've even seen a race here. I haven't even watched anybody else race it, so who knows if, you know, this thing gets wild loose later or something, and in order to survive, you just have to be super easy. Like, I don't know. That could be the case. I would be none the wiser. We're gonna find out though. Getting a little bit of uh, extra rotation mid corner. Nothing I can't handle though. It's gotta be nice to the throttle pedal. Anticipate it. It still feels pretty good as we're wrapping up our 10th lap coming up here. You're in the lead. Got a great exit there. I'm happy with that. That extra bit of turn. I could definitely see the right rear ending up being the one that's most worn after we get ourselves a run here. I'm getting that impression. Point six back to second place. That was at thirty two point three. Got on it a little hard there. Probably no need for that. Probably going to be a little smoother. Getting back to 100% throttle. Seems like you just really got to try to keep it on that uh, second lane. Keep it near that uh, seam. It's doing pretty well for me, so long as I hit the brakes enough to get the car turned there. I overdrove that a little bit, so bad timing for my explanation there. But Seems like so long as you kind of don't overdrive the entry and kind of keep it along that line, it's doing pretty well for me. The car certainly doesn't really want to go down there. It wants to uh, 
overdrive it. Probably because you're entering so fast. So you gotta get on the brakes pretty good. It doesn't, uh... It's not like hitting the brakes more slows you down more. Being able to hit that line it makes you faster. It's always kind of funny how sometimes hitting the brakes more makes you go faster. The three car still hanging in back there. I still think that he could potentially just be saving more than I am. End up coming up on us later. Definitely see that happening. That one was our 52.7. Sorry, now I got loose. Let's get loose. I'm getting loose every corner. You're good. <laughs> so I guess that's not too surprising, but I think that three's coming back to me. I think uh, we are about to see that I was overdriving. I had a feeling, I had a feeling that uh, he was just driving a little easier. Looks like he's ready to start moving forward. I'll try to keep it, but it's going to be a hard, hard ask. See, he looks like he's charging pretty good. You've just done a 32.9. Thankfully, uh, behind him, it looks like we have a pretty significant gap. Oh, I drove that pretty bad. Almost three seconds, which is nice. Also, very clean race so far. Really enjoying that. Give it to you here in one go. We are coming to a quarter of the way finish in this race. The completion of this lap. That also signifies about halfway through this run. Though we do plan on going a little bit longer. Although I might change my mind. Especially if this guy behind us has better tires and ends up passing us. Maybe I try undercutting a little bit. We'll see. I want to get just stuck in a, in a Plan, even if it doesn't fully fit what is needed from me. It's gonna come past me. Okay, Looks to be trying to set something up. Okay, Hunter, that's good consistency. Keep it up. 
I'm pushing a little bit harder now because I don't want him to be able to get a run on me. I want to try to keep this as long as I can. Yes. Right rear is definitely uh, barking at me here. I think he's being patient and letting his uh, better tires do the work. I think that's smart, and I think it's going to work. I'll probably have this spot before we go into the pit stops for green flag pit stops. Should we get there, which I hope we do. getting tight. I'm definitely very, very loose. It's interesting. It's all about how you drive it, I guess. I like that. I like when uh, the way you drive has consequences. If you overdrive it, you get a, you get a tight race car. If the right front burns off, you uh, overdrive exit like I've done. Gets you on the uh, right rear. We got very close to my bumper there. That scared me. He's got so much more grip. He's gonna get it here. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Alright, he gets it. That's fine. I knew he would. He's done a much better job. This might mean we're coming in lap 42 or something instead of uh, 44 like I was going to. See, he gets speed on exit. That's because he's got more drive off of those rear tires. where he's gaining his speed, it seems like. Four seconds back to second, though. So that's feeling comfortable. What we gotta do now is just try not to let him get too much of a lead. see if we can have a better second run. Good battle in him though. He definitely did that the right way. He waited. Let us tires do the work, his better tires, waited for his chance and then passed us cleanly, very well done by him, and that's interesting, that's interesting, so no green flag pit stops, this could be a fuel mileage race now, I didn't think you'd go inside instead. Again, sorry. Let's we'll see how much uh, we can get estimated on fuel. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Probably it wasn't bad. That's too bad. I was kind of looking forward to green flag pit stops, but 
It's alright. Who knows, maybe it saved me from speeding. Which is always a possibility. Checking on one and three. Deep roads open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Everyone's coming in, of course. Only two sets of tires, that's interesting. Obviously gotta take them here. It's non-negotiable. The leader, house, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. So he's going to be one box behind me. Pit box team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Ooh, just stopped there in time. 7270, we will report that in case that's helpful to anybody. I knew it would be on that right rear. I thought it would be even more than that, though, to be honest. Okay, go. <laughs> Tried to get him, not quite. Now it's going to be all about saving some fuel because we are very close. We're just going to keep it low throttle, and then coast it up to the pace car. We'll catch him just fine. 69, 64. He had the exact same tires as me. That's funny. That makes me feel less good about the concept that he had better tires if they're going to be exactly the same. He wow. might just be better at handling them when they get looser. 72, 70. Wow. Come on, pace car. I feel like the pace speed's really low here for an intermediate. Maybe I just needed to uh, let the tires cool a little bit. I was pushing too hard, sliding too much. Maybe I needed to let them cool down. That might have been the issue. Pretty dang high, like way high. You're just about, just there on fuel. 2.8 gallons. This is saying we need 2.8, but according to iRacing, we are right on the mark. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Maybe more incentive for me to take it easier on exits. Less throttle means less fuel burned. Go green, stay focused. Alright. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. You're in first. Much better jump for me that time, but still. The next car's the lead. Of course, he'll get the advantage. It'd be interesting if we get more yellows when we take uh, our tires. We'll go to his inside. Clear high. You're back in the lane. 
Alright, now we got track position. We are going to try to be much nicer to those rear tires this time. See if we can't keep our pace the whole run. Much more gentle. So it looks like it's still working for us pace wise. So if we're much more gentle with the throttle and we're still going quick, it seems like a good combination of factors to me. what happened last time though that three fell back a little bit but he came back and got us plan here is to make sure he can't come back and get us this time but easier said than done still could be a very interesting fuel situation okay, I'm gonna watch that we are now in the lead Apparently, would be what would be cool is if that eight back there like fought the three or something, made it uh, more difficult for him to save his tires back there. Could help us out. Even just pressuring him, maybe if he doesn't want to lose that track position, That's could play into our favor. We're close enough on fuel that I'm not too concerned about it. But I'm definitely going to keep looking. It looks like we're, we should be just fine. It says we've got about 40 laps. We've got less than that to do. So I think we'll be okay. Still saying 2.3. I don't feel like that's accurate, though. I don't feel like that's correct. We continue to build the gap, which is interesting because the gap looks like it's getting bigger than it did that first run. And I feel like we're going softer this run. Just has me scratching my head a little bit. Maybe less is more here. Maybe that's what we're learning. But we are over halfway now. Second and a half back to second place. And we've got a challenge ahead of us because Greed beat us that first run with his long run pace. And this next run's going to be even longer if it goes green the whole way. So presumably that would be to his advantage to have a long run unless I can make this adjustment. to me like he's already starting to come back a little bit. He went from 1.5 to 1.4. Just got to do everything I can to try to minimize the advantage he has.
It's coming back though. Hey, I apologize for getting so close to you on entry there. I was not trying to do that. Yeah, it's all right. He's decided to turn on the heat, looks like. I'm just keeping the same pace, trying to stay consistent. Got some uh, distractions. It's feeling good. Be interesting if because I'm going easier on exit this time around if I'm gonna end up on the right front instead. It probably wouldn't be ideal. All right, Colton, that's good really like it to just kind of even out if I can pull that off. Now it's feeling good. Like I'm still getting decent grip on exit. The lap time was at thirty-two point seven. The captain house behind is now one point one. It's kind of holding even at one point one now. Really going to pay attention to that. As soon as I said that, now he's within a second. Oh, I don't want it to happen again. I'm trying everything I can to try to prevent it from uh, playing out the same exact way. He's coming again. <laughs> Couple tents every lap. You can tell just when he starts deciding, you know what, I'm going to go now. So he starts gaining every time he does. Man, it's this is just deja vu all over again. I feel like it's happening earlier this time too. Maybe not. No, it's, I think it's about the same, I think. About 15, 20 laps into this run. I just don't know, man. Not over yet. Still haven't pushed this thing. Still just going a consistent pace. So I can try to hold on to this maybe. But, you know, for how long? We got so many more laps to go still. Got traffic coming up. Wide track though, so I don't think that should be an issue. 
I do see him hitting the wall up there, though, which concerns me. Do I try uh, uh, driving in harder? Maybe that's the key. I was saying every time my wife comes and talks to me, at least position. That might be the key. Drive in harder. <laughs> Since apparently we have right front to spare. Get on the brakes harder. So we can hit our marks. what we do? I don't know. We're in experimental mode because I don't know if we continue at this same rate of speed if it's going to work out for us. That didn't work there. That was a bad corner. Here he is again. I don't think if we we uh, let them buy, we're ever going to get around again. So I guess I just give it what I have now. My safety rating literally went from Which involves getting like loose. To to I guess. There's no holding them back. Yeah, but you can blame Gates on it. We need to go. That's a long time to hold a guy off. I'm trying. I'll do whatever I can. Front, I think, is getting mad at me. Maybe that means I can drive harder on exit. <laughs> it's like the boat is tipping one way and the other, and I'm trying to head to the other side. Balance it out. So tight. Clear outside if you want it. Instead of just going to the top. Inside. Still there. Uh keep high. Still there. Keep high. P2, you've just done a thirty-three point five. I'm gonna try to hold it. He's got it though. Way. Stay high. Clear inside. Yeah, he's got it. Dang it, man. The next 
I don't know what he's doing. I don't know how he does it. But he's just got such good drive off. He's got great long run speed. I think he's getting on the brakes harder than I am, maybe. Maybe it's heavy braking that I'm even doing already. It's just being smooth and using the whole length of the track. I'm kind of trying to watch him, see what I'm saying. Maybe a wider entry? It's going pretty wide on entry. Maybe you really got to take a big arc into the corner. Thank you, Lord Clark. Not sure. Thank you. Did you guys all save fuel or something? Because that was the last... Oh yeah, fuel. 1.1 gallons. 1.1 gallons. Five hit. Maybe we should take a look at that. It's been a while since I thought about it. So heading to 13 to go. We're right on 13. I guess I should roll through the corner a little bit. Just gonna roll through the corner now, probably not gonna use any brake. At this point, just gonna roll it through, give the uh, throttle a little, a little bit of a break, save some fuel maybe. I'm hanging on with the three, but I think that's all just him uh, realizing he doesn't need to win by a lot. He knows he doesn't need to push it to stay in front of me. Yeah, we're fine on fuel. It's close, but we're fine. Maybe I can pressure him, him into a mistake, but... I still feel like he's probably just uh, feeling nice and calm, knowing that he's got the better tires right now. And if he needs to uh, up the pace, he's got more than I do right now. That car behind us, the five, hanging out back there. I imagine he's probably just uh, hanging back, not uh, getting in our fight, so I appreciate him for that. Maybe I let my tires cool a little bit by uh, taking it easy like I am right now. <laughs> Maybe see if there's some grip all of a sudden in the last couple laps, see if there's anything I could do, but I highly doubt that. I think the threes earned this one.
That lap was a 53.5. Good consistency, keep it up. What a great race this has been, though. It's come down to the guy that can do the long runs better, and that's looking like it's him. But just the one caution? I mean, there's still time, but. It's been a very clean race. He passed in fair and square both times. And heck, if I still get a P2, I'm still very happy about that. Can't ever feel too bad about P2. It's a great finish. He's really good at maximizing the width of the track, it looks like. He gets right up there by the wall on exit. I keep thinking I'm seeing him about to hit it, and nah, uh, he's just using the whole width of the track. He's got this place pretty well figured out, it feels like. See him way up there, right by that wall. I don't know if I'm brave enough to maximize the, the course track. That uh, finally, I feel like I'd be bouncing off the walls like I do in the uh, dirt racing. I guess we'll go uh, a little harder for a minute here, see if we've got anything left. Not likely, like I said, but... Let's get anything else out of this vehicle. That wasn't even faster than the last lap. Yeah, there's. <laughs> you're trying to push, just make it slower. You have about two laps of fuel left. Two so laps to go. Two to go. You've only got enough fuel for this lap. In this lap. That guy's ahead of pit, I guess. Going to my inside. That's scary. You're up top, three wide. Why are we up top? Right what are we side, doing, guys? Why would you take me three wide? You're not even on the same lap. Last lap. Not like it mattered. Half a gallon of fuel remaining. You have about one lap of fuel left. Okay, we'll coast it through, just make sure we don't run out. Like, what is that? Why, why would you do that? Why would you pass the leader? You're not even battling the orange car that's left. The last lap. I don't know. I just feel like right behind him. Makes no difference, though. So. Good race, good win. I just couldn't quite figure out that long run speed you had. Three. Nice job. Great yeah, my pitch drive was stuck on that last part. Right. Good win. <laughs> nice good win. Good win. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah, did you pit too, Billy? That's interesting, people had to pit. I really didn't feel like I had much trouble making it to the end. I just kind of had to half pay attention to it and I could make it. Point two gallon. Of course, we are out now. I knew I should have tried to save. Man, that was like a half a lap short. I should just win. Alright. I'm completely out of gas right now. 50 51. Point six laps he had left. Yeah, I was pretty close too. I wasn't too worried about it though. Like I said, like if I needed to say more, I felt like I could have. I was just kind of running, uh, using up the fuel I did have as necessary. 
A P2, right where we qualified. Top three, right where they qualified, in fact. I got 0 0.6 left. And a very clean race. These guys could have very well just been the guys that uh, were involved in whatever wreck, which we'll see here in just a moment. Camera pointed a little better. Go. And here we are, starting off on lap 30. <laughs> he had enough for a burnout, that's good. So here's your wreck. Uh, so we got the 12, I guess, coming off the wall. <laughs> and then uh, the 5, looks like he's going to go low on him. Yeah, the, the 12 uh, probably didn't need to do that. I mean, I think he has plenty of time to react to the fact that uh, the 5's... <laughs> um, the five's doing that move, which is pretty aggressive, but also the twelve just bounced off the wall and has no momentum and is kind of driving in the middle of the track. So I can see why the five's feeling the need to do that. Yeah, the, the twelve had plenty of time not to gas it up here, and then just decided to run into the back of them. So I would call that on the 12. He's off pace to begin with from hitting the wall. And then instead of just accepting that he loses a spot from it, he gasses it up and wrecks the guy. Nearly into the back of another guy there. 12 getting majorly loose. 5 getting even more majorly loose. And then... Just sends it around. Kind of a strange wreck there. This was the actual caution, wasn't it? Or was it? Maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. I'm trying to remember exactly when caution came out. So there was no caution for that. Nobody was there. Bit of a wall tap for the nine. He's pushing hard, and ooh, that was a pretty solid hit. Oh man, he almost wrecks the whole thing. That could have been a caution right there. He destroys his nine car. That sucks. He was having a good run. Twelve just gonna hit the wall on entry. That can happen here at Kentucky. That it's strange that turn one entry kind of peeks out at you. It's hard to uh, to explain. I think it's because of the way you come out of the. Uh, the front stretch there, the curved front stretch, kind of sends you in the direction of that wall, deceivingly. I've done it before, too. But moving along, we're pretty much uh, getting close to the end of this thing. The nine's on fresh tires. I assume after pitting from his damage. And we've got some tires uh, wearing out as we get near the end of the race, probably hitting about 50% like ours were reaching. Here's ours probably hitting 50% right here. And that'll do it. Three has not just enough fuel to uh, get it to the front stretch and do a bit of a burnout. So congrats to him. Well done. We'll get P2. Tried to make the adjustment, but just not quite. Couldn't quite figure out how he got that uh, long run pace. I guess, uh, man, I don't know. I just got to go easier in and out of the corner probably. Because we're pretty much even. We were actually on the right front a little bit more that time. I made an adjustment to try to uh, get on my right rear less. Got it closer to even. But in the end, I think I probably just hurt both sides of him too hard. And that's probably where he got that et extra speed. So that will do it for that, I suppose. We will see the official results page before we wrap up here. Very uh, happy with that finish, though. So... Your winner is the number three car, as it appears up there for you, I hope. Yes, it does. All right. Oh, he's got to check. Um, he's get 69 I rating. We get 22. 
You can see he had the fastest lap as well. And that was on lap two. We were both going hard on lap two, it looks like. Fighting hard early. We'll get 144 championship points and have ourselves a clean race. It was a good fun one. You know, we can actually see the whole field here. Just a 16-car field. And uh, get an idea of what uh, we got going on out here. So, that will do it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I'm going to do some uh, new week races here tonight on Monday. Now, looking forward to it, and I hope to see you there. Have a good one.